The Massachusetts House of Representatives passed their budget closeout bill. 22 News State House reporter Olivia Ray explains how the House allocated their money. Late last week, the House passed their closeout budget bill and dropped one of Governor Healy's proposals on how to close the budget deficit. Every fall, state legislature passes a spending bill to close the books on the previous fiscal year, which ended on June 30th. The past year's budget is notable due to lower than expected tax revenue and higher spending and higher than predicted millionaires tax revenue. Governor Healy's budget proposal wanted to balance the budget deficit by using some of the surtax revenue on education and transportation spending items. A coalition of advocacy groups opposed this idea, sending a letter to state leaders. They say the surtax revenue was voted into existence to fund new education and transportation initiatives like free school meals and fare free regional public transportation and should not be diverted to pre existing programs. The advocacy group's letter saying, quote, using the fair share dollars to balance budgets rather than make new investments in transportation and education moving forward risks damaging public trust. The bill does not include Healy's proposal for budget budget balancing, instead choosing to divert some rainy day funds to fill budget gaps. The House also dropped a Healy proposal to revive a Baker era secondary savings account, but agreed to move more millionaires tax dollars into an early education trust fund. The House bill has a total cost of $730 million, but after subtracting projected revenue, the state expects a net cost of $162 million. Working for you from the State House in Boston, I'm Olivia Ray, 22 News.